Today uh, we're going to cook the uh, inside tenderloins of a uh, whitetail. Uh, in my mind, this is the absolute best part of the deer. Uh, a lot of hunters uh, don't know about them or don't think about them, uh, but I always make sure to take these out when we're uh, processing. And you can cook them just about any way you want to. Uh, you can wrap them in bacon and grill them. Uh, you can grill them by themselves. Uh, they're real tender. Uh, but my favorite way to cook them is to cut them into slices and pan fry. So that's what we're going to do today. All right, we're going to start. Uh, these uh, tenderloins are courtesy of my oldest son, Hunter, by the way. Uh, took a nice six point last weekend here in the Kentucky youth season. So uh, we're going to start out by just, uh, I like to do about a half inch thick. And uh, I'll get a little bit of a, bias cut on them to uh, get a little more surface area. All right, we've got our tenderloins sliced up here. One tip I like to do is uh, season the meat itself uh, more than you do your flour mixture. I put just a little bit of uh, salt and pepper in my flour, but I do most of my seasoning on the meat itself. Just a bit of garlic and some Cavender's seasoning. From there, uh, we're gonna go over to our uh, just regular all-purpose flour. We're gonna dust these. And uh, anytime that you're frying meat, good tip is to uh, dust them and then let them sit for five minutes or so before you put them in the hot oil. Uh, that just lets that flour set up on the outside, helps keep the crust on it a little better. All right, we're gonna heat up some vegetable oil, uh, probably about a quarter inch of it. Uh, like it to be around 325 to 350. And a good tip to know that is uh, put a couple of popcorn kernels in there. And uh, when they pop, you're just about the perfect temperature. All right, our uh, popcorn's popped now couple of them have anyway. Still got one to go, but I think it's probably hot enough. Don't want to overcrowd the pan. Uh, just put them in there where they barely touch. And uh, we don't need long on these. Uh, it's not a real thick piece of meat. And medium rare is good. So uh, I generally only cook them for a minute or two per side. You can tell when they're ready to flip when you start to see a little bit of moisture push through in the back side. I think those are pretty well done. Like I say, you don't want to overcook them. All right, this batch is just about finished. Uh, my absolute favorite way to eat this is uh, with scrambled eggs and uh, homemade biscuits for uh, breakfast. Uh, but it goes good just about any time. Let them sit for a couple minutes and then they're ready to go.